Mikhail, <laughs> he's here. You got your headphones right there, bud. Go he's here. Throw those on. He's got some phones. You can move you can that hear microphone yourself. anywhere. You can, Feels good in here. You can move yeah, that mic stand wherever you want. Guys, still not there. Uh, yeah. Very good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. So, for those of you who don't know, Mikhail is a solo guitarist. He's a solo artist. He is an incredible guitar player, guitar teacher as well. Um, and he's now got a new project he's playing with, uh, yeah. John Welton and the Awakening, which was the last song you heard on the playlist opening up. So, James also forgot Shredmaster 5000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, There's not many. I, I don't call anybody and like, hey, can I get some lessons? Ever. Except Mikhail. Uh, <laughs> He's the guy. He's the guy for it. Nah, you guys are too kind. So, so you're, I you're guess good. I guess tell us about what's going on with John Welton. Like, uh, how'd you get? How'd you score that? Yeah, what, what's going on? Uh, all of a sudden, you guys just seem to. That's a fun story. You just seem to pop up into his band like real fast. It, <laughs> it's been a yeah it kind of it seems like that but it's it's been a three-year kind of thing um we met three years ago at a at a party uh out in uh out in indiana in bloomington <clears throat> oh, we're in indiana right now <laughs> so yeah that makes sense <laughs> i'm usually in indiana anyways <laughs> but yeah this is uh, a little merry prankster uh, gathering uh where we play every year uh we hooked up there and um uh for like i was like 10 minutes out of the car and we're already at a at a fire, uh, beside some fire pit, just jamming, you know, on acoustics and hanging out. It kind of started there. And I was on stage when I, like, jumped up and played guitar with them. They never do that. They had me up, like, for a tune. And and uh, next year I got up, played, like, the whole set or something, and they played the whole set the third year. And we just got on the phone the, when, at, like, on Monday, you know, when we got back home and stuff. And They went like, home and sat down and was like, holy shit. That guy who played guitar with us, dude, was incredible, is what happened. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I know the feeling. <laughs> I, I called him up. I loved his tunes, man. The guy writes really good songs. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty. That's the pretty impressive part. They got a, We have a trombone. It's Brad, plays trombone. So, big band. You never see that. Yeah, seven people in the band. Lindsay's our uh, female vocalist. And uh, uh, we got Aaron, I mean, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Eric Diaz from uh, uh, Hot Tuna. Old drummer from Hot Tuna. I don't really think nice. Didn't they play that show? Hot Tuna, yeah. Ripple Fest, 05, didn't they? I believe uh, yeah. I believe they did. Yeah, Hot Fall Tuna one. Acoustic. It was, it was an acoustic. the Fall one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's great, man. He's at a, I mean, I, I joined the band. I'm the last guy to join the band. He was in the band when I joined up. But uh, So that's a fucking super group. It yeah, it's great. really good, man. We got John Owen bass to play stand up and, and uh, play some funky uh, Olympic bass, electric bass, too. And, and uh yeah it's awesome man sweet so um uh, did you do stuff on that album that new album that just came out yeah this is an interesting thing since i'm living so far away from the band uh, we did it over the internet like we'd probably do it if we <laughs> uh, now or people are doing it you know against their better judgment or against their free will <laughs> yeah you're <laughs> but, uh, forced into it now. we're forced into it but yeah i mean uh we did it all like over the internet they sent me the tracks i recorded in my home studio my guitar parts sent them back they just sync them up oh yeah and uh that's worked the out like it. butter you know so we had to do so we did it that way you know half the album's live there's 11 live tracks on this album, and then there's 11 studio tracks. There's 22 different songs on this album. This first album's a double album. It's it crazy. sounds good. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, it sounds it. great. Eric did most of the recording in his home studio. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get into. We, we have more. an Eric with a home studio, too. Yeah, we do. That's where we how record weird. all of our stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have an Eric, too. But nice. that's that's how... <laughs> for the K, his name is A. It's great that we're in much. that digital age. <laughs> his is actually... A I R I C K. Oh my! All right, <laughs> Air. Never would have saw that. Air Rick, Rick. like Air Jordan. <laughs> so, but, oh, jams with Mikhail tonight. Come on, serious doobie. You know we're gonna throw some jams down. We're just gonna get inside the 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 mind of this man, and we're gonna let you guys uh, <laughs> learn a little bit about Mikhail. Tonight. Oh yeah, it might make you it might make you just fall in love with him. You never know. <laughs> this man has played every festival we've ever thrown. As yeah, well. that's true, man. Every you guys have always single, had me on the bill. Every single one from even our 
you played whacked out little twig night at the uh, on the outskirts of town out there in the uh, <laughs> in that in that uh, parking lot kind of like vibe. Hot, yeah. The park, parking, parking lot, lot. Parking yeah. Lot party. That's what it turned into. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> that was one hell That's of a what I had the quickly party. four by four bus too. Remember that? Thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it got bus. stuck in the mud. <laughs> no, it never got stuck. No, that was the box truck, yeah, the, the sound truck. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> dug themselves. I never got in the stuck mud. anywhere. <laughs> Mikhail yeah. came in with the monster truck bus. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He he played May Days at the Water Bowl. He did stick night at the water bowl um tons of shows together in muncie yeah we did that water bowl man was a lot of fun when it was up and running i don't know what they're doing there now like i don't know i think somebody like owns half of that property yeah yeah i know it got cut in half but yeah for sure like i just remember going by one day and seeing a house in the back and i was like whoa where the fuck did that (laughs) come from yeah big fence and everything it's crazy bastards yeah yeah it so, used to be huge. Oh, it was awesome. So I guess I want to go back to the beginning of Mikhail. What? Yeah. And, and uh, building a shredder. So take me back to <laughs> the, before the you even played of. guitar. What uh, is it? What, well, that's what, what got you, What got you going, dude? Uh, well, my mom is a musician, you know. Yeah, she's a singer-songwriter. She just wrote a new tune. Um, and my dad kind of came up with one of the hooks in it, which is like a first He's often trying to write jokes or make a good chicken, you know, <laughs> dish or something. <laughs> he loves to cook these days since he retired. But yeah, my mom still writes tunes. And um, but when I was younger, she had the guitar. I was like five, you know, when I first started playing. I used to hang out with bands because my mom hung out with rock bands all the time when I was a kid. So I just grew up in rehearsal spaces, you know, as a kid. So you started when you were five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I started when I was five. You know. That's yeah, awesome. I had like, and I got up uh, on on set breaks and played, you know, on set breaks when I was a little kid. Yeah, hell yeah. And so they let you play with the band. They put you out there in front of people, made yeah, you get on my stage. My buddy uh, Craig Walker had this band back in the day <laughs> called the Clouds. He used to get me up in the set breaks. He was <laughs> so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just picturing Mikhail like little Dewey Cox, you know. <laughs> the, I had this K electric the, the, guitar. The six year old playing the fucking blues, like man, what you know about the blues? Oh, I don't know, man. I cut my brother in half once, and <laughs> you know. Yeah, uh, automatic. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing the talent. That's the thing you got to think about. Like, it kind of makes me think about it now because I'm, I'm getting on, online more, you know, doing live things more and and uh because that's what we're all doing and uh you think about when you're in your own in your own backyard it's a small pond you know and you're like you're part of this whole like you know community that's like real you know like you can actually talk to these people they're they're within driving distances or (laughs) pretty much (laughs) and uh, i drive five hours to jam with my band you know which is a big deal but um now you know you're in a big pool like all of us musicians are in the same pool with the whole world now. So it's like when someone puts out a piece of music, you're like, your your standards are not your standards, but you know what you're used to. The environment now is huge. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. The, the environment we we it was already it's always been there, but kind of under the surface of our real environment because that's where we all of us really kind of want to be there. We know some with some realness. You know? Yeah. Go hang out in a big crowd. And, you know, there's nothing like. All that kind of fun. <clears> oh, <throat> reminds me, I don't even want to talk about this, but yesterday I was at the grocery store. <laughs> it was like nobody anywhere, right? But they're all at the grocery store, of course. Things are getting cleared off the shelves. I saw this dude almost get into a fight, like <laughs> over, like, <laughs> like just kind of giving the dude an eye. I was like, the tensions are high. Like, yeah. like, you know, like randomly, like people are like freaking out, acting kind of weird. Like friends of ours are doing things that they'd normally never do you know right. but since like we're on this lockdown thing and i'm like random access mode here <laughs> hey no but, you know, that's what this thing I, is about i don't totally diverted this, from like diversion back about. to reality <laughs> no it's, you know what i mean <laughs> it's fine you don't but, even uh, understand yeah, we haven't even busted mind. out the I tin foil even, yet yeah <laughs> well you know i've been thinking about having a, a website where i like got the tin foil hats and the <laughs> and the other the some other device i was coming up with i'll it'll come back to me later but it's just like the tensions are like always sort of you know under the surface and now people are just like ready they're ready to throw down over a roll of toilet paper oh, oh yeah. fuck yeah crazy man all right you got some toilet paper what's up no uh, no no i don't, <laughs> I don't know nothing man get him, buddha. i don't have anything <laughs> get him buddha shake him down <laughs> how many rolls of tp you packing out there mikhail hey, you know, i mean come on i i kept it, Keep down it real yeah i did keep it real <laughs> you know i didn't buy much more toilet paper than i normally buy um which isn't much I, mean, I don't eat a lot, 
So <laughs> my whole theory is if you don't eat a lot, you don't use a lot of toilet paper. That's right. Because you don't want to find yourself under the thumb of the man. You know, they come to the front <laughs> door with hazmat suits. Yes, sir, we're going to make sure you don't know, you know, have toilet paper and you've been eating a lot of food. Dude, I saw a post on Twitter the other day that Handouts. somebody had posted and was like, thank god for the corn farmers and like you because you can eat the corn and then you can use the, this is like some senator or some shit like you can use the corn cob as toilet paper you so can it's wipe like your ass with eat the corn, corn and then wipe your ass with the cob <laughs> we gotta stop electing people that wipe their asses with it corn was cob. crazy dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. it's like that's your advice right now eat corn and wipe your ass with the he cob must, fuck off he must be oh. lobbied by the the corn farmers for sure. <laughs> oh, dude. yeah right he well, just made <laughs> fat off of that and <laughs> it was pictures of a corn farmer like in the middle of his field holding a bunch of corn <laughs> holding up uh, a like a nasty corn yeah. cob <laughs> oh, See, proofs in the better. pudding he says it's very very subtle way of saying go fuck yourself he had corn that cob pudding smile. that's right shove this corn cob up your ass go ahead Can't you see agree. this that's what go i mean people are doing yourself, things America. they normally wouldn't do right yeah. Yeah. it's got no. people shoving corn cobs up their ass it's so weird well king Friend of, of poop. Is like tripping online king, right king of poops just says, totally strips down naked <laughs> on facebook what yeah why i'm not gonna mention any names or anything but uh <laughs> why would yeah. he do that because he was high as hell, you know, he was like just totally <laughs> tripping, you know, he was tripping, totally lost his shit. He's like, oh. it's the end of the world. Who knows? You know, he's like, it's like he just Who watched knows? Kids Cajun. He's gonna show it he all. He just watched Planet Z or something, Outbreak. or like Ward World Z or yeah. something. Oh, he's like, ah, I just want to get closer, everybody, but I can't, so I'm gonna get naked on Facebook. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> oh shit. Buddha, you want to get naked on Twitch? No, you want to get no, naked on Twitch, Buddha? I don't. A few more days. <laughs> Are you chill? I'm pretty good, man. I, I don't. I don't Wait have the urge. Wait till he runs out of ring dings. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm um, not. You can the wear. <laughs> would you play the set tonight with one of my? I'm wearing tiny little socks. Put one of my tiny little socks, Red Hot Chili Pepper style. Oh man. Play the bass naked. <laughs> nothing but a sock. No, I, 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 it's just look it's man, not that time like yet. <laughs> here's still the thing. hope here's two more the, weeks two more weeks humans evolved from little <laughs> shit covering their junk to actual clothes like can you imagine like we actually evolved from from loincloths and beating people in the head with clubs like that we fashioned out of a tree limb and and having a a, a form of communication other than grunts yeah. Yeah, we fucking did it, We've man. Look at us. Way. We're actually going live <laughs> through a fucking cable that's yeah. connected to a wall that goes out into a pole that sends it off into the entire world. And a matter of, Jane, what's our delay right now? Seven seconds. Seven seconds that all or happens. Or less. Or less. Yeah. Via radio. That's waves. fucking crazy. It's the future, Watson. It is. Crazy. <laughs> so, what do you think about 5G, Mikhail? Uh,. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. We got 5G. We're connected with 5G right now. Yeah, it's we fine. We've been running 5G for a year and a half. Now, radar, that's the one I'm concerned about. Radar. Radar, yeah. Especially 1950s radar. Why that's is that? Shit. Well, you've watched all the sci-fi films, you know. Those sci-fi films about the 50s. The radar is out to kill people. You know, they discovered uh, radar was, was a weapon. Uh, was um, They were cleaning the... Uh, transmitters and all these dead birds up there were like fried chickens pretty much and hence the radar with you know range and those all those microwave cooking books with all those recipes you can make some casseroles in a microwave so so you they know, basically miniaturized that those. technology and called it a microwave yeah <laughs> yeah they the same technology that we use to like find ships at sea we used to cook a chicken Son of a not, bitch, not dude. Us. <laughs> Holy fucking <laughs> smokes, people. Mind blown. I had no idea. Okay. Yeah. Ralph, you get me one The radar those? range. So That's what they used to call the microwave I, oven. I got, I got a little fun fact for Microwaves. you. Microwaves. A little, little fun fact for you. Um, the little transmitter. <laughs> the little transmitter that people have in their car for when they're going on the freeways to do the, the tolls, the automatic tolls. That is the same technology that was, uh, that makes up the theremin. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I learned that, uh, uh, they were talking about the guy who created the theremin, uh, was like a Russian scientist and they actually bugged the, the U S ambassador's, uh, office 
under like some paper or something like that, and so they could just hit the frequency and and get information. Oh like, no shit! Yeah, that's pretty interesting. That pretty is crazy. Weird. Have you ever played like a theremin? Cross references between like technologies you didn't think would be connected to each other, right? But they are the dots. Connecting the dots. Connect the dots. <laughs> On our next. Have, have you ever segment. played? <laughs> have you ever played the theremin, Mikhail? Huh? Have you ever played the theremin? Yeah, uh, yeah. I used to have a weird. Um, I played a theremin. I also had this thing made by Elise's, which was an air effects thing. It was orange, and you could buy. It had like sun. It shot out like six laser beams. Jeez. Laser beams. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and you just by wherever your hand was, it would map that and change parameters, you know, which I thought was really sweet. And you could assign that through MIDI channel to be any parameter you wanted, you know, of any effect, like how much distortion, how long the delay is, just by moving your hand like this, or what pitch something is as you're shifting pitches, which is like the theremin, woo, you know. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that is pretty I crazy. sold them at, I had to get rid of them at a pawn shop. I was broke. Sold them at a pawn shop. Yeah. <coughs> I bought some drums for like Steve O back in the day with that money. Fucking <laughs> Steve O. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steve O. Oh, that oh was the God. dynamic duo, dude. <laughs> yeah, I man. forgot all about that. Yeah, my guy was drumming out with the gate. Yeah, that was when I first started. Yeah, he was a, he was a savage. He, he was, was with you all through all those months of years. Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing him way back in the day with like catch curtis be here now yeah we did the catch curtis thing for a while i got him that into that little lineup too so he what sent drummer. you what sent you off the music theory deep end um you know i i can't really put my finger on it i guess it was uh i've always kind of been a, a bit of a nerd like once i started looking into uh uh pythagoras like i got turned on to like the fact that he was the father of mathematics we all learn about you know a squared plus b squared equals c squared <laughs> uh but then we find out he's the father of uh, music theory so then you go back you look at he's the father of numerology and like you know all these esoteric things which i'm not like super into uh pseudosciences but uh you know the concept that the universe which is like i started getting into the etymology of things because when i was kind of pursuing things academically I, I thought etymology was a hip thing you know the study of words and the roots so like uh una means one and verse means song right so i was like universe means one song you know i'm like whoa my mind was blown i started thinking along those lines <clears throat> and deciphering the uh the meaning behind the words you know like music theory is uh, ancient astronomy which is when you realize that you know they thought that the entire universe was nothing but a bunch of uh, strings. Well, actually, one giant string called the divine monochord is an old model of the universe. It's a really cool old uh, lithograph I found, you know. Check it out. Huh. So that's, you know, in that one song, universe, you know, that's, it's all just a vibration. Yeah. So, so what we've been talking about, like our last stream when we were over here bullshitting, we were talking about we should start tuning to these different frequencies because we recorded a bunch of shit on our new album at 432. Right. So it's like, let's start. And there's all these different frequencies, the love frequency, the manifestation frequency, you know? Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think it was like 417 is mm -hmm. the love frequency. So it's ah, like A it, at 417. No way. And then you tune off of that. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah. I like that idea. And that's what we were going to do. Yeah, that was, that was the frequency to ward off negativity. Yeah, hmm. which allegedly is used to fight the 60 gigahertz that the, the 5G the, the 60, net is. Yeah, the 60 hertz. Um, <laughs> Defeat the evil 60 Defeat gigahertz the demon. Mind that's control. right, the mind control which really, frequency. Like I said last time, you know. We've <laughs> oh, been, that's it. I see how it works. That's we've been fighting 60 hertz hums, you know, with, with those 9 volt They're one spots, with, you know with, what I mean? With, with Anytime like, uh, you plug that in, you just hear that fucking frequency, that 60 hertz just You know what made me think of is... Uh, uh, Independence Day, right? I remember I was in the beginning of that film when Jeff Goldblum, right? Goldberg? Goldblum. Bloom, right. All right, so he's like, uh, they discover this signal, right? And he discovers inside of the signal an embedded message, right? So think about this. The 60 cycles uh, that we use to, to, you know, make alternating current in our electrical system, it could be like a carrier wave for embedded 
messages that are like traveling all around us electromagnetically, right? Affecting the molecules in our bodies. Wow. Well, we are but a vibration in space True. and time, you know? One time, I mean, have you ever, I mean, I know you like to party, Mikhail. We've, we've, we've had our, we've partied with yes. Mikhail for years and years. That's and true. I mean, one time in specific, I remember we all ate a bunch of acid right before we got on stage and got really <laughs> fucking twacked out. And then you sat in with us for that whole set. And remember that, boys? Oh, yeah. It was insane. We got off stage and we collapsed afterwards. It, it was, was really hot. But have you ever seen... And it's in times like that that I swear I have seen what exists in between me and you. The space. Have you ever seen, like, what's in between me and whatever I'm seeing right here? Oh, like, yeah. What's in between me you and my hand? what the air looks like? Have you like? ever seen the air? Right. Have you ever I seen the, 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 the patterns? <laughs> and, have you and ever s- seen the air? <laughs> it's just, then you realize that it is all just like a fucking illusion, dude. It's all... What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Well, I mean, you know... One of the the ways I always like to to think of it and break it down is, you know, we're all we're all atoms, we're all molecules that are put together, you know. <laughs> so, so with that being the case, think of think of a, a TV screen that's LED and, and it's so many pixels. You know, we're the atoms are the pixels that create the picture of the person on your TV. You know, we are the image that is created within those certain vibrations and frequencies. That's the interesting thing, string theory, right? Right. String theory and quantum mechanics work together. Like those, those theories don't really contradict each other as, as much as, as far as I understand them. And, uh, and they work together in my, in my version of the universe because the universe is like one, well, is strings, right? String theory is exactly this idea of these vibrating strings <clears throat> creating uh, you know, different frequencies, create different types of uh, well, whatever, you know, matter, I guess. But at any rate, you know, it's like quantum mechanics is the connection, too, between two different things. That, I mean, two things that are like distances away from each other, but are related like with frequency. You know, like you tune this one to the same frequency as this one, and when you shut that off, this one shuts off. Mm-hmm. kind of reminds me of sympathetic vibrations. Like I used to like tune all the guitars in the, in the store when I used to teach at a store. Uh, to the same, like tune them like perfectly together, like one string on each guitar, right? And I get in the middle of the room with an amp and hit that note on electric amp guitar and make all the guitars in the room just start vibrating. <laughs> like, cause it's sympathetic vibration, right? So the whole room, you stop the one and then you hear the whole room, you know, just like decay away from it after it's you sick feeding it, you know? Yeah. But it made me think of an idea because if strings are vibrating and you can create a magnetic field with a steel string, right, and some mm-hmm. magnets, and that you could actually, with the motion of the string vibration, produce electricity, right, because that's what a guitar does, right? So we got these guitars, I'm thinking, make them really big, man. Giant guitars, electric guitars, right? And put them all around each other, <laughs> and like one in the middle, like somehow you get this one in the middle, like vibrating, like with a bow or something that moves <laughs> with the motion of the earth, yes. right? And it's bowing the string in the middle making it vibrate and all the rest of them are vibrating producing electricity the power plant it is pretty i just see i'll tell you what i see mikhail here in you know 20 years being dr emmett brown he's gonna figure (laughs) out how to turn a fucking delorean into a (laughs) he's gonna hit one machine a one one (laughs) note one (laughs) note (laughs) teleportation device dude yeah oh man that reminds me uh john welt and i were at this gig and uh, (laughs) we were we were we were in a state where you can you burn illegally, you know, and um, did I say it right? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, so like we're looking for a, like a green room, and there isn't one. And it's raining outside. We look down the alleyway, and there's like this porta potty down there. It looks fresh, you know. I'm like, fuck, let's go check that out. It's brand new. Like this is a brand new porta potty. So John and I are standing in a porta potty in an alley, burn one down. Like it's a luxury hotel. <laughs> and it was like, this is so fresh and so clean in here. No one's even ever been in this thing. It's brand new because they put it behind a building they're re- remodeling, you know? So it's like one of those. So no one's even been in there. It was like, we're thinking, what if somebody comes out? Like, how do we explain this, you know? But it reminded me of a joke I came up with this summer when we were doing a Pyro Fest out there at Ledges. And uh, I was, it's a, a teleporta potty. So if you had a teleporta potty, you go like to a, a you know a festival and they look like a potty. You go in there, but it's got like a little keypad, and you just like 
you go back to your house and use your bathroom, right? And it's like nice because you're at your house. It feels good. And then you just pe- teleport a potty back to the fucking festival. <laughs> teleport a potty. That'd That's be right. Sweet. I, like, it'd be like Jay some and Silence up in your living room. Like, oh, oh man, song. I was just trying to take a piss. They actually had the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get the wrong, like, oh, I'm sorry. You, know, you get the wrong number in there. Yeah, yeah. You know, teleport a potty in yourself to somebody, some stranger's bathroom. They they had the, the teleport a potty not too long ago in uh, in the Fortnite with the uh, superhero edition. They just had these porta potties and you'd open it up and you'd tunnel into another porta potty somewhere uh, see, in a different area. Yeah, teleport a potties. It's the future, man. It is the future. It's coming. It's the future, you guys were on top of it. Flying cars, teleporters. Teleporta uh, potties. Teleporta potties. Yeah. Mikhail's time traveling guitar. He's got that flying V. So, so I mean, anyways, I started playing guitar when I was five years old. <laughs> 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 and we're back, folks. And we're back. <laughs> we just shot to the edge of the stratosphere. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I never took lessons, man, until I was uh, like 19. <clears throat> well, actually, I took one lesson when I was like seven. Uh, but I went... And this guy like opened up a Mel Bay book and like, here's your first lesson. It's this like Mary Had a Little Lamb looking thing. And I'm like, I'm already playing tunes and writing songs, you know, about mowing grass and stuff I really felt strongly about, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, and I've got some great old cassettes somewhere laying around because uh, maybe I was 11 or something recording these tunes on a cassette machine. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little four track. We had a little. Me and Ralph had a little four track task cam. Oh, the four track task cam. Straight to yeah. the cassette tape. Oh uh, yeah. So, with you being a, a pretty established <clears throat> guitar teacher, I mean you've done it for years now. Um, how would you break down music to somebody who's never played an instrument but wanting to jump in, and really wanting to actually like jump in and give it the commitment that it takes to learn an instrument? What would be your your go-to, uh, I guess, talking point with them to help them understand the concept of music behind it and uh, where to go? Uh, you know, the first thing I probably, man, um, that's fine. It's fun, it feels funny, but yeah, I'll just, I guess what I would tell everybody is like, it's about dancing, right? It's a, it's a dance of the fingers or a dance for the people, the listener. It's a dance. It's a dance of melody and rhythm. Rhythm's a dance, melody's a dance. So it's all about this, uh, you know, getting a groove, <laughs> getting a rhythm, a heartbeat. Um, and then and then harmony, <clears throat> which means to fit together like puzzle pieces, mm-hmm. uh, is about vibrations. And, um, and the simplicity of that is easy to explain, really, with like, you know, if you had a few minutes and a string and you want to get deep. And talk about overtones but i would say that it's about having a dance you know it's got to have some rhythm to it music's about making people move and, um, and an emotion of course right <clears throat> which is something that i'll talk about that i think is fascinating that i often uh bring up as, as a philosophical conversation is uh emotions mm-hmm. are what we consider what make us human you know we can make ai make a lot of decisions for us basically during the day. He'd probably tell us when to poop if we needed it to. But, you know, sure. It could poop you know. for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so <laughs> everything's been taken care of, Seth. Um, but um, at any rate, yeah, you know, uh, but it, it can't help you, like, get happy. Like, that doesn't explain happiness, or does it, right? Because that's where I draw the line. Like, as I study music theory, and I go, okay, what is a major chord? Okay, a major chord is three notes, okay? But why those three notes? The word major actually, by the way, means majestic. So when you play a major chord, you're playing a majestic, his majesty's chord. It was considered, you know, real pious. It was the God, it was God's favorite chord. (laughs) There you go. Because it's like perfect harmony, right? So at any rate, you've got two, three, and five parts of a string. Those are prime numbers. Those are the simplest, uh, purest divisions of something, you know, in the world uh, that we can comprehend, you know, with our minds. So we look at this mm. string and we divide down these mathematical divisions, these measurements. And we say, if I add this part to this part to this part and play that and hear it, well, that makes me sad. So I just took a bunch of numbers, threw them on a device, and then bummed me out. So I'm like, how's that true, right? Or, or made me happy or angry. Or I could feel the emotion that was trying to be expressed through numbers. So many beats a minute, 
So this rhythm figure is 16th notes here, a triplet there. These are all just numbers. The fifth, the fourth, the third, you know. So it's all math. So math and emotion, they're not separate things. You know, it's a quantifiable deal. It's weird. That's all I got. What do you think? I like, <laughs> well, I like no, I mean, so when I... I hit up Mikhail because he was the shredder around Muncie, you know, and I was stuck in this box and that I couldn't get out of. Every guitar player hits those walls where you just get stuck and stuck in what you're doing and you want to get out of it. So, and something eventually does. For me, it's always hitting somebody up and getting a couple things. And we, me and Buddha both called Mikhail over and we're like, give us some lessons. So Mikhail comes over to my house, you know, and he's like, oh, guys, we don't, we don't, need guitars <laughs> we're not gonna actually play any guitar we're gonna think about playing guitar and i was like what the fuck is he talking about but then it was literally we busted out the pen and paper you taught you you showed me in buddha you broke it down for us it took like i don't know five or six lessons before i actually clicked with it but what it did was it got me out of the two note per string box and it got me thinking about the patterns and everything is just that major scale with a couple flats here right. and there. You know, so it's just all about how where you start and stop this and the little notes you put in between there. Mm -hmm. Color, yeah. And so it's like I notice where a lot of guitar players, it's like you can tell who has and hasn't evolved yet to that three note per string thing. Because once you start playing three notes per string, you can do all kinds of crazy shit. It like it changed my guitar playing drastically. Oh, then yeah. you're like, okay, I'm gonna ascend in fours. I'm gonna do, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna ascend and descend in fours. I'm gonna do a three, a four, a three, a four. I see. There you go. Like, it's everybody's like asked, hey, I, I do think a whole bunch when you're jamming, or is it all just like your eyes roll up in your head, you know, and you just like, use the force or whatever. And uh, I'm like, I it's both. It mm -hmm. really is. It's both. Yeah. I mean, there are moments when I'm like, the brain just comes on. And I'm like. Yeah, the triad here, like diminish this, you know, augmented from the seven of that chord, I'm gonna play from that, <laughs> step of the five, a melodic minor passage starting on the flat third, you know, what equations, like the fucking shit's just yeah. popping, you know what I mean? Uh, but mm -hmm. but other than that, then there's the, the, the muscle memory where the hands just like, they take over. <laughs> Whatever the hand does when it's thinking, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it has its own thing. Yeah, yeah, it, it, doesn't have, do. it doesn't think like I do. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I find with me, um, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot of the muscle memory, you know. And then once once you kind of realize, like, whoa, I'm I'm letting this be way too much of it. You know what I mean? Way too much of the the substance, you know. And I'm, you know, then I start adding, like, making my brain work and adding the different things, uh, you know forcing things you know or, or uh you know you got you got at least try it, it may not sound right but you know the number one thing about mistakes is you just keep doing them it makes it seem like that's what you're trying to do that's right what, that's, <laughs> what you, well, that's what you learn from that's where you, that's you know what, what i mean yeah. that's where you learn some stuff and i mean ralph was picking up guitar and he was learning he's getting pretty good but then nice. i see him just start racking his brain and he's like I think I've almost got it. And he's just thinking he's so hard. And he's like, oh, there is no note between the E and the F. And there is no note in between the B and the C. And I was like, Ralph, stop thinking about fucking notes, dude. No, <laughs> I numbers, had to, dude. I had numbers. to like that because when, <laughs> yeah. I'm, when I'm thinking about drums, it is a numbers thing. And I was trying to relate that to guitar. And you can't relate it to drums because you have a beat and then you have a beat in between the beat. But then when you look at like the, all the notes of the guitar, it's offset because there's no sharp to... Uh, what is it? Uh, an E. E sharp is an F. But then you have F sharp into G. That shit was just tripping me out. So yeah, I was like, that makes sense. Up. That's why it can't be exactly symmetrical. It's asymmetrical. Because in drums, it's everything is symmetrical. For me, at least, when I'm figuring things out, it's like you do symmetrical stuff and then you add an odd number. You know, like uh, on a beat, you do a five or a seven is a lot different than a four, six, or an eight. And it was just like I was trying to figure shit out. I was trying to come up with my own understanding, a, a map key of my own, per se, to know exactly where the notes are, what I need to play in them and whatnot. But then I, I quit doing it because it was changing the way that I was playing drums too much. It's like I was playing a lot of guitar, more guitar than drums. I was getting pretty good at it. But then I get on the drum set and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like... Thinking like a guitar yeah, player. Yeah, like, I can't do this. It's weird. It just changed the way <clears throat> that I played. I don't Interesting. know. Yeah, so I haven't been doing much of it anymore, but it is trippy. Uh, 
all the things you can do on the guitar. It's just like a never-ending hole. Yeah, but the synthesizers, we can play drums on guitar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can he's, play he's, guitar on the drums, right? Because with, like, with your electronic kit. It's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I've got... Yeah. I got uh, I got Fishman's triple play MIDI. Yeah. Because I went uh, to Gear Fest and I played that because I used to do the Roland GR55 stuff. Sure, yeah. Which you're more than familiar with for you're way right. better. Probably know way more than we do about it. But or so, you will. <laughs> but I just didn't like, I really liked it, but the tracking on like a lot of the organ and piano tones I didn't like. And okay. then I went and I started playing around with the Fishman at Gear Fest. And it was like the tracking was everything you dreamed of with the with the rolling just right out the box. I couldn't get it. My I had a triple I play. And I couldn't get it to work good, but it was an older one. You yeah. Know? Well, they've got two different versions of the pickup. There's one that's got a little controller that's like this big, but then they've got one that's like the size of the GK3. That's right. You know, pretty big, sure. and it's got more control. It's got the switches to flip to your guitar tone. The only problem is that you have to have your computer. That's why I don't run it on the stream because oh. I'm using this computer for audio, but it's got all my MIDI stuff on it. So if I right. go live, I just bring this, run it, got all my tones right there. Totally understand that. And the tones are crazy, dude. Just the presets alone. And then all the different, you can pull in any kind of instrument plugins into it. So it's not just, right. you know, I can grab native instrument packs and load them into there sure, and then man. control them with my guitar. That's awesome. It's crazy. And even with my, I have it on my whammy guitar. So when I start hitting the whammy bar, it picks up all of that. Sure. You know, it's like, Woo! What's her name? Uh, Jennifer Batten? Yeah, I know Jennifer Batten. Yeah, she For did that now. Michael with, Jackson, a guitar yeah. player? She did an album with, uh, um, I think she did an album with Jeff Beck. And uh, Jennifer Batten and Jeff Beck. And it's, I mean, think about that. That'd be yeah, <laughs> well, she's insane, yeah. dude. Oh yeah, she's a mad, she's a mad scientist. And even now, it's like I see her, see she's these fantastic. videos of her out there, old lady just fucking. Oh, she'll lady. she'll pawn you, dude. She's an old lady. Oh, that yeah, she was smoking hot back in the day too. You know, her oh, hair, yeah. dude. But yeah, this best just hair of the eighties. Every time you call her an old lady, I just thinking, man, that might be my my game. You know, I'd be just like, I put the like the the fluffy dress on and everything and the big glasses I'll like kind of hobble in yeah so and just <laughs> actually, their faces yeah, off. now yeah. that we talk about that Mikhail likes to wear many hats and he has many characters that he I, yeah he, he does yeah. you never know what character you're gonna get when Mikhail shows up so speaking <laughs> of he's got this character that's what's this what's this lady's character uh, King, King Money. Money King Money King he's Money he's got King Money yeah, so King I actually Money. have a video here that's queued up of King Money. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so let's see uh, what it's talking about. Um, here. So we'll move this here. We'll put this over here. We're going to play this video for you. And show you one of Mikhail's many characters. Many, many characters. Uh, let's full screen this. <laughs> then we'll go over here. Okay, come on. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is Mikhail's most recent character. Um, King Money. Oh, oh my God, God, he's here. Yeah, Holy King son of Money! a... Well, yeah. I'll, I'll be a son of a bitch. King Money in the studio. Let's check out his. Let's check out his stuff. Let's see what's what he's got going on. And Seth Hopkins joined in. <laughs> so this is from a live stream he did. Mikhail does animations as well, folks. That's my uh, little cheesy avatar. It looks just like you. <laughs> Stacks of money in the background. <laughs> That's right. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, always do a six pack on this episode. Uh. Ooh. Went through a six pack on this episode. I yeah, I was just throwing this thing together, like grabbing stuff off the net. Uh, this is royalty free disco. There you go. Huh? Yeah, Got too. Because Warner, Warner will grab that shit in a second. How's going, everybody? Welcome back to another King Money episode up in your face tonight. 
Ah, feeling good. How's it going? Good. Contagion, contagion world of World War Z. Um, apocalyptic things and stuff. I was not making a Mad Max car, you know. This is something I always wanted to do. I got the money to do it. Oh, oh, money, money. I'm gonna take that money. Right Look at that. Like Mikhail's got toilet paper. I'll tell you why, because... King Money's got toilet paper. <laughs> is that a kaleidoscope toilet paper? Yeah, this is a toilet paper chip. Nice. It's like a figment of your mind, like a construct. Why ain't they real? <laughs> <laughs> I wish they were right. Especially today. This weekend, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Day 45, start date 36, 27, 47. Once it go? Another day to paradise. Cause, uh, shit. King toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, you have it, folks. <laughs> there he is. Tune in, it's gonna be like once a week, I'm gonna be going on King Money with this one live. Probably get up on Twitch scene, man. Yeah. Dude, King Money might be a hit. That King Money's a hit. Oh, what I do That's here? Money, I broke baby. everything. Do, and now do, I close do, this do. so it stops dinging. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, King Money. Do, do, do. So I keep hearing that King do, Money. Do, do, do. So, Mikhail. Yeah. Hold on, baby. Uh, Let me get your uh, thing. Here working. I am. Okay. So, uh, there it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, another... Hold on a minute. Let me go get Mikhail. I'm going to grab a beer. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Right, so I'm going to take a break. Right, right. Don't King ask Money will be back. This, this, this is not King, King Money. King Money! <laughs> headphones, headphones, there you go. All right. King Money, he's right, still King. attached. He's got nice hair. He's, he's great hair. Great hair. Buddha, tell me a... That's, that's the best that uh, King can buy. You Buddha, know what I mean? tell me a story about Mikhail. Oh, man. Like, we've, we've played a lot of fucking shows together. We a lot. have played a lot. I mean, of shows since together. we were before we were 21, before we were even old enough to be in the bars, we were in the bars fucking around with Mikhail. And here we are, like, I mean, how old am I now? 11 years later, over 10 years. It's been more than a decade we've been fucking around with Mikhail. Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Um, there, there's too many good ones, man. <laughs> like, I, Jay Murphy. I remember. And here, I'll take this time real quick before you do that, Buddha. Thank you guys for the subs. What do we got? DJ Jones, Glass Moon Man, uh, Lysergic. I saw Tacatelic giving gifts. Thank you guys all for oh, the damn. follows. And back to Buddha. Thank you, guys. I'd have to say, uh, I can't remember what festival it was, but I remember that we were all there and pretty well like we got more of these right? pretty well yeah three to ten sheets to the wind we're we're heavily heavily sheeted to the wind if you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> we're ironed out and i just remember just walking through the forest i think it was down at stable studio somewhere just walk through the forest i hear just this fucking grooving ass thing happening just like you can't help but move your head and bounce with it and then i walk up and kyle's just like Mikhail's just in this like field with a like a, a, a canopy set up and just like a tiny PA system and this pedal board <laughs> that was the entire size of the canopy itself. It, the, the pedal board was bigger than the PA system. <laughs> and I just remember Mikhail up there just fucking getting it with a slap pop and slap pop and solo shit right on like man. dude that that was that was awesome you you always uh seem to you know you can just grab attention like that and as, as soon as you touch a guitar it, it's or any instrument for that matter thanks know. brother man I, that's that's another really great memory i had um jamming down there at the tonal caravan house in muncie oh yeah and i remember you coming over and we were just I think it was like me, you, and Bryce, and Stu, and I remember you just hopped on Ian's Rhodes, and just started like key smashing the keyboards and like making awesome music, and you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing, just ah ah, just <laughs> smashing these keys. That thing was a nice. That song, thing man. sounded so good. He still has. Good. It. I know yeah. it sounds so good. 
Uh, Kyle just looked at it and saw numbers. Uh, uh, yeah. for, well, for real, I mean, well, like, I mean, oh, I see. Because music theory, it's it's you know kind of based around that instrument that more thing's linear. Yeah, you know? it's it's yeah. it's completely it makes complete sense. Um, so, Mikhail, I know that you like to do a lot of 3D animation uh, as well, and we were talking about one that you made uh, of the mouse trap, which uh, the mouse traps a bar down in Indy. Um, which you frequent quite often. Yeah, you frequent I quite do. often. That's and my and place, that's, man. that's what I was going to get to is you run this thing down there called the Family Jam. I do, yeah. It's and well, right on. now it's a little tough, obviously. <laughs> it's it's not happening. It's impossible. It's non existent. <laughs> it's it's yeah. impossible. <laughs> it doesn't it's exist. It's really right sad. Now. Yeah. Well, all the guys are disappointed. You know, of course, we're all just doing what we got to do. But uh, mm -hmm. that's been going on for almost 10 years now. Oh, yeah. I, I know. Jam. I've stopped down there <clears> a least couple times. Years, probably about and, uh, and jammed out with you guys, I, you know. Yeah, man, on Hat Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came, I came down on a good night. That's for yeah. sure. Uh, you know, for the Family Jam, if if anybody ever gets a chance to go down there and experience it, it's it's completely different than uh, an open mic or something that anybody would think of. Oh, it's Mikhail you know, this, leading this an is, army. This is players. This is true, true players who who come out there and. Yeah, you know, Mikhail's there at the helm, and okay, we're gonna start, you know, something funky. Let's get it going, and you know, hey, you know, and everybody's grooving, and then Mikhail just starts throwing out, you know, numbers, letters, you know, where, where, wherever we're going next, what kind of time signature, like what, what's going on, and and uh, God, it, it, it's an absolute blast, and and hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll we'll do a couple of jams here in in a minute where. We just kind of let you take over and you and tell us where you to tell go. Us where Spit to us go. Oh, yeah, man. throw let's, some let's numbers a, let's get a good at fam us. Oh yeah, here. let's do it. Let's yeah. do it, man. So, do you remember the first time we met? I just uh, does anybody remember the first time we met? I remember Mikhail? way back in the day. God, wasn't it, was uh, it? Wasn't the water bowl or was it? Well, I feel like I remember the first time I ever. I don't Docs. know if it was the first time I ever saw you play. But you headlined a festival out at the Water Bowl that Turtle Matt did. Yeah, Dancing in the Dark. It was one of those, and man, yeah. I remember it was badass because like you were headlining the show, and it was in that little um, whatever the, their their small little stage there Pavilion. that the Water yeah, Bowl yeah. had built, and uh, that shit was awesome. That's like I feel like my earliest memory because that was before we did a thing, and that was before that was like right when we started getting into Muncie. Yeah. So, the that might have been it around that time at least yeah but some of my, my earliest memories are those coming over to your guys's place and hanging out doing those lessons together yeah man. you know that's that great that's when we all kind of started connecting as friends and oh yeah yeah that was fun dude like yeah. i said that really that broke fun. down the wall and i yeah. still use a lot of that shit today and i it, whenever i'm like giving somebody some pointers that's what i tell them is like stop thinking about notes and start thinking about numbers and everything's a major scale and they're just like mind blown by it and i'm like look if you start the scale here one two three four five six seven it sounds like this but if i'm playing you know if i start if i'm playing a g major and i start here and i go one through seven it sounds one way but if i play the same exact notes and i do one through seven on a g major but over an a minor completely different sound right yeah you know and Perspectives. it's same fucking notes yeah it's the same freaking notes it's the same people it's like it's a path right it's the yeah. same path but you change where you're at and so your perspective of that path has changed mm -hmm. and you look at it from a different vantage point it's crazy man and your chord the chord you're playing is your vantage point wild wild stuff mikhail's blown my mind to the <laughs> wild so we'll probably get oh, uh we'll probably get started playing some music in eight minutes Probably about oh, eight minutes we'll get fantastic. started. But we'll, we'll talk minutes. some shit for a minute, drink some beers. All right, I got a good question for you, Mikhail. Sure. What do you got, Buddha? So uh, I think I speak for myself and everybody else here, and, and especially in chat. Uh, what's your feelings on Bigfoot? That's right. That's that's a that, that is, we is have a shredder? to. We, yes. we must know. Is, he, is well, Bigfoot a shredder? Can we get some Sasquatch? Big can somebody hit a Sasquatch sticker? Sasquatch. Squatch uh, life. Yeah, my feelings is... Uh, Squatch! The, the Bigfoot, uh, a favorite uh, mythological creature of, of Americana, you know, uh, folklore. culture, folklore. And, uh, you know, we're worried about its natural habitat being uh, at jeopardy. Uh, if he does exist, his natural habitat could be in peril. 
And if he doesn't exist, it isn't. But there's that possibility that somewhere in that out of focus area behind some rocks or trees. He does. What, what, what was it that you said earlier? Bigfoot seems to. He's a linger in the out of focus areas. He does. He's, he's a lingerer in those out of focus areas. <laughs> that's for sure. Usually cuddling with a smaller furry creature. Somebody needs to tell that guy no soliciting in those so. fucking. Oh, look, there he is. There he is. There he is. It's here. He's oh, so there's, there's another one. He brought us for family. Hilarious. It's a family, dude. <laughs> it is a family. <laughs> Thanks for those slaps, Doobie. Thank you. Shabang. It was perfect for the the combo. <laughs> so, so do you think that like Bigfoots are where some? I mean, they've been around in folklore for all of time, basically. Yeah, every, no every one's culture. ever really captured one. Exactly. Right. It's, that's what I'm thinking. He's so, a, now. Do you think that when bender, one dude. is? Do you think that? Two things. Either one, it is a real thing. People have killed it, and when they kill it, the government shows up to silence them for some unknown oh, reason why theory. they don't. Or, or are they interdimensional beings that can space jump back to Mars? If 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 they are indeed quantum Sasquatches, you know, we've got a whole new ball game on our hands. I mean, it's, like, it's like a new frontier. Well, maybe that might be why Could they explain uh, vampires. Is that why we have a elves. space force now? Well, a lot of people think that you know Sasquatch. <laughs> I can't think of a better reason. <laughs> a lot of people think. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Sasquatch is able to evade capture. Sasquatch from space. Sasquatch is able to evade We're capture. Protect you. Because do you have my dimensional uh, space? Do you have my space force video? <laughs> do you have my space force video? No. You got to queue it up. My space oh force my video. God. Look, look it up. It's, All right, it's, we'll look it up. You got to look it up. We got a space so, force video. Yeah. It's, so, uh, it's on my Facebook channel. And oh, uh, we'll get it. I it's, also uh, yeah. I, I like to 5, think of five thousand views or something stupid. I like to think of uh, <laughs> Bigfoot in, in the aspect of. Um, you know what? What's the other mythological creature that we kind of always had throughout history in every culture was giants. Giants, yeah. So what if really dude. Bigfoots and giants are one and the same, or, or semi-related? Uh, Do you believe that there were giants here? Well, I mean, there's some really big doorways and staircases. And huge stuff, doorways, right? I'm I mean, saying, what are they huge. making those for? Right? Not us. Yeah. Not, not little old me. Dinosaurs? It's did not they have them for Ralphie? That's for sure. Did they have pet dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. the question. Um, oh, I bet if I just search Mikhail Robertson Space Force, it'll probably pop up. Oh, that's probably not a bad idea. Look at that. So smart. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Go to videos. Uh, yeah, it's it's oh. to distant spa- place and time and Space Force coming soon. Yeah, that's just not showing up, is it? It's a video go actually to videos. too. Yeah videos and uh, oh, hey that's you live with us I'm yeah so if you're watching on facebook if you're one of those crazy. people please come over to fantastic. uh twitch seven viewers come on uh, so uh keep going keep going i do a lot there's some videos of the band there's some 3d the animations there's some man uh, we're lessons. looking for we're looking for space uh, force we we'll look there to, uh no we're looking for uh, space no keep force. going uh, it's pretty obvious it's super cheesy looking there it is. Space Force. This one? News. No. No? No, it can't be in. Nope, that's not by Mikhail. No. There, nope, keep going. Oh, that, that, nope. My cat plays piano. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> how is your it's cat? It's unbelievable. She's doing great. <laughs> Bigsby. Uh, it's it's really great. a short video. She plays piano, but let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my God. You would think that it would pop up. Yeah, I can't believe all these videos. It's driving me bananas. They actually deleted it because they no. don't. They want to censor you, it's your knowledge good. of the, of the space. Force. <laughs> Do you think that alien disclosure is coming, and that that's why they're <laughs> making the space forces so that we uh, they can send us out into space to fight the aliens? Well, yeah. I mean, I think it's you know it's a, it's an effort to protect us from ourselves. Really? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And once they get it into the hands of AI, I'll tell you what, we have these guns, uh, but we're going to hold on to these guns so you, we can protect you from them. It's uh, definitely in those up, down, and up in those videos. It's crazy. Go to go to his I photos. Go to his photos. I did, but it doesn't video. show videos. Dude, I'm telling you, they go. Yeah. It does. Is it in albums? Oh, videos. Here we go. Now These are all your video. videos. Now, now we're, we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're fucking talking here. Yeah, keep going. You'll find it. It's it's so it's a little bit older. Yeah, keep going. 
Oh, that's where made a pick levitate. That was pretty good. I like oh, your look, little there's... space force like your oh, red Oh, check out this, guys. Yeah, Here we that's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check this one out. Here's a here's an animation Mikhail made. I made that for the boys, yeah. That was a quickie, man. Like, Let's show you guys what it's time. talking about. Um, here. Let me pull up this uh, display caps real quick. Uh, I gotta move it to the other TV. Jim Smithers just subbed. Did somebody gift that? Yep, Miss Twiggy. Oh yeah, Miss Twiggy. Miss Twiggy. Twiggy, thank you. Yeah. Okay, here we no, go. That Space Force should have been easier to find. Yeah. Here we go. Check yeah. out. Yeah. Check this out. You're they just fucking scrubbed you, dude. <laughs> they scrubbed yeah, you right out of there. They said Mikhail I have to some close shit. the camera. Check this out. He made this animation for Glow Stick. Look at this. We need to take this. Can you send me that file? Sure, man. So I can uh, add it to the stream. Yeah, I'll update. I'll It'll be a scene. I'll give you a freshie. Oh, look at I'll that. I'll break it down, yeah. That's fucking awesome, fucking awesome, dude. Let's, Let's watch it again. Up. Look at that, guys. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like Buddha after he says welcome to the family at the end of the stream. <laughs> welcome. Yeah, a little chuckle, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brothers. Yeah, That's awesome. Took a skull, stretched his teeth out, made him green, got the pipe in there, made the sunglasses, and then I spun him around, did a smoke simulation, you know. That's fucking badass, dude. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. We need to use that. All right, let's go back. Let's find a space force. Yeah. Then we'll get to jam. There it what, is. This one? No. Nope. Space Force, right? Oh. So that's it. Oh shit, I'm blind. Don't move right there. Oh. We got <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> okay, hold on people. I'm not even putting our this camera angle had a couple, in this. I'm, <laughs> a couple personal problems that I've solved since then. I'm just <laughs> leaving, I'm just leaving this up for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so are you enlisting in the space force? Oh yeah. Scroll up. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you where it went from there. Oh this will be the end of it. I swear. Uh, back to the uh, main selection. The uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, go up. Keep going. Past the space alien guy. Past that. What, what's the word on that space alien? This guy? one? Uh, no, no. Keep going. I love the judge too. Uh, I really, I going. really love. Uh, I think let's we need go to go back. Go back. Go back. It's no. Look for the one that's long. Look for like something that's like about a minute long. Thirty-nine seconds. A minute nope. seven. A minute seven. This one something on subatomic level. No, guitar keep going. Pick on Scrolling up. That video was funny that spaceship. too. Spaceship. How long is that? Oh, there it is. Six seconds. The bubbly news. This one. Hit that one. Yep. That's this one right here. Yep. Hit that. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Let me get this. Let yeah, this, this is now. This is 3D animation. I did the soundtrack. <laughs> I did the CG. I did everything here with the uh, except for my buddy John. Did Let's check it out. Flying around in my spaceship, drinking a cup of coffee. <laughs> Just another day, nighter, better. The kind of strange voice. A strange voice will forever change my life. Yes. What's up, Sham? Grim Jester, what's up, dude? What's up, Grim A? Flies distant planets. Covered in weird volcanoes, crystals, bubble news. Turns out right behind some trippy flowers, there's always some dark overlord making evil plans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the universe. Oh, his fingers. He always has some kind of evil little minion super creepy looking but we're not gonna let him we're gonna stop them oh my god join space force 
join Space Force. That's that's. I, I actually think we have a Space Force member with us here uh, in the studio. Oh my god! I I, I we do we do. Oh my god, he's here. Fresh Commander Robertson. Commander Robertson from the United States Space Force is here <laughs> with us, and he's got uh, his military issue uh, flying V. It's um, the uh, highest grade military issue flying V that you can get. Yes, uh, this thing is Mississippi. That That's thing's sure. cold hard steel. Look out! Tell us about that thing, Mikhail. Hello, comrades. <laughs> Space Force together. Finally, we can make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I will take my flying V to. The- <laughs> I think it's time that we. Jam like we've never jammed before. <laughs> yes. yes. We must fight the aliens with our shreds. <laughs> the aliens come in the form of a microscopic virus. When we get you on the stuff. <laughs> They're actually little tiny spaceships if you look at them under a microscope, but the government oh, won't let fuck. us see them. They're zapping each other. Yeah. So when we get over there. Ow, ow. When we get over there. Thanks, Doobie. When we, when we get over there and we have you, uh, we have you hooked up, I'm going to I'm I want you to play if if you were like the government came to you and they said Mikhail this is your last song this is it <laughs> these fucking aliens are coming to earth they are going to fucking annihilate all of us we've heard we know that there is one specific guitar lick that will annihilate all of the aliens what are you and you're the only guy who can play that lick what lick is it we don't even know what lick it is Mikhail gentlemen get a hold of yourselves <laughs> We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, man, that's hilarious. That is awesome. So we got some mold. Ralph's mic stand has turned to mold. Ralph oh. needs six feet between oh. him and his microphone. Oh. Microphone's moldy. It spent too much time in the basement. Damn. Oh, I'll be damned. <laughs>
You're breaking up. For themselves. Come in, Captain McCarroll. He's been floating in deep space ever since his ship was hit. Oh. Uh-huh.